everyone, it's June Penny and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk to you about how I lost 55 pounds in five weeks. Yes, I did it. Did I do it now? No, I did it once before. So I guess you can call this a little bit of a story time. So let's go back. Now, as you guys know, I am getting the gastric... Um, vertical sleeve, vertical gastric sleeve. However you say it, I'm getting the sleeve next month in August and I'm so excited. I have been battling my weight for so, so long. I mean, I'm talking years, guys. Like I said, I'm 51 years old. So probably I would have to say about 30 something years I have been battling, but this is the heaviest I've ever been. Um, years ago, I had to be like maybe 20. I'm going to say 20. I might have been 19. I don't know. 19 to 21. Let's just be safe and say that. I was about, that. that's when I started gaining the weight. I was 165 pounds. And seriously, what I wouldn't give right now to be that weight. <laughs> seriously. So, yeah, so I was 165 pounds and I wasn't feeling really good about my weight, but at the time I had such a good job. I, w I was in a good place every other way except my weight. I had a very good job at the PBA, which is the Petroleum Benevolent Association. I was working down on Wall Street, feeling good, getting dressed every day, um, you know, just doing good, making money at that young age. And this was a job that I could have definitely uh, climbed the ladder of success. Okay, so uh, one day I was reading The Village Voice. I, th th this is a paper from years ago that in the back they would have all these advertisements. So I saw this advertisement that said, lose 30 pounds in 30 days. And I'm like, yes, this is what I need. Because back then, if... If I had to start a diet, I had to lose at least 10 pounds a week. Otherwise, it was wasting my time. Wrong way to think anyway, but okay, let's continue. So I contacted this company and they told me to come in and basically it was a liquid diet. Now, years ago, uh, it was called Clinifast. I don't even think they even have that out anymore. Uh, compared to the protein drinks that they have today, it was completely different. Like there was like no nutrition in it whatsoever. It was just a plain liquid diet. And basically you had to drink, I think four or five of these liquid drinks a day, plus take vitamins and just water, like nothing else but that. So um, they were like guaranteeing that I would lose 30 pounds in 30 days. So I was all for it. I was one that could drop weight really, really fast. Again, wish that was the case now. So I did this liquid diet and instantly I started melting. I mean, melting away that people would see me in the street and say, where are you going? <laughs> like you're just, what are you doing? And I was always an open book. So I would always tell people what I was doing. I'm doing a liquid diet and whatever. So the first week I lost 13 pounds. I was floored. I was like, this is it. I'm going to lose all my weight on this program. So one day I get, I get called in by the doctor and I go in, Lola, stop. I get called in by the doctor and she's like, listen, we're having a meeting tomorrow. And um, if you'd like to join in, it's, 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 him, eh, it's hypnosis. So it will help you just do the plan, but even easier. So I was like, this is awesome. So. I went to this meeting and everybody there wanted to be hip, hypnotized, hypnotized. So we're all sitting around in a circle and the guy is just talking and we fall asleep. So instantly we fall asleep. Now, I don't know, like, I believe in hypnosis. I really do. But when they say you will now fall asleep, I don't know if it's me that's going, okay, I have to fall asleep. But anyway, what he was saying was you will not be... Like when you speak of certain foods, you won't be saying the name of the foods. You're going to simply refer them as carbohydrates, fat, protein, like that. Uh, so pasta, I wouldn't say pasta. Can I have macaroni meatballs? I would say that's a carb and a protein. That's how I would have to refer to food. And 
that helped me so much. It was so crazy because I would see my mom eating something and I'm like, you're eating a carb. Like you're eating, like I would just refer to everything as carbs. And I didn't want to eat anything. And so the weight was just dropping. And I remember my cousin Tommy saying, he picked me up just like, like I was light as a feather. And I was like, am I really losing this much weight that it didn't even bother him to pick me up like that? But I was. Um, all of a sudden, I was at work one day. I wasn't feeling well, feeling very lethargic. Oh, by the way, I was not taking my vitamins because back then, they were horse pills. And I just couldn't swallow pills. I would just throw them up. And the doctor said, do not split them in two. For whatever reason, you had to swallow them whole. So I couldn't do it. So I was feeling very lethargic, as I was days before. So I went to work, and all of a sudden, I'm just pressing in the wrong keys. I'm just not feeling good. I'm not eating. I'm just feeling like I just want to go home and go to sleep. Um, it, it, it started to become where I wasn't even hungry for the drinks themselves. I was just basically having one or two drinks and drinking water. Uh, I went home telling my mother I don't feel good. My mouth was hurting me. I started developing like sores on my lips and inside on my tongue on the sides of my mouth and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, my mom got very, very, you know, concerned and she took me to the doctor. Then in turn, they told me to go to the hospital. They checked me out and basically I was so malnourished and I had such bad vitamin deficiency. I can't even tell you what I felt like, what I looked like. All I know is I did not want food at all. I didn't want any of the protein shakes. And so they put me on IV, they gave me vitamins through IV, and slowly I started feeling a little bit better. And they would bring out food to me and I would just, I couldn't have it. I was just like, get it away from me. I couldn't take anything in, but the IV, and the water that I was drinking. And it basically wasn't even drinking water. I was sucking on ice chips, so I was really, really sick. <sighs> so anyway, they weighed me when I was at the hospital and I had lost 55 pounds in five weeks. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, I did it. Like I did it in my head, but I was so, 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 so sick. Um, then, you know, Little by little, I started eating, and then it got to the point where, of course, I was eating too much, and I I think in two months, I gained all that weight back, which is so, so, so bad. Now, that's how I lost 55 pounds in two, in five, oh, two weeks. Could you imagine that in five weeks? Now, I have to go on a liquid diet because, like I said, I'm getting the gastric sleep, but today's protein drinks are so much different than they were back then. You know, they're filled with um, with vitamins and and minerals. I guess that's what you say, minerals. <laughs> anyway, they're so much better for you. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing my liquid diet in two weeks. Oh, I didn't want to tell. I had to tell you this because I completely forgot about this. I, because I was so sick, I lost my job. I did because I wasn't doing the right thing at work. And so I stayed home. And I just gained my weight back, lost my job, and I was in a worse place than I was before. So my 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 point here is if you do something drastic, which I, I don't recommend that you do, if you do something drastic, you have to make sure that you're getting the right protein, the right vitamins, you have to do your research on liquid diet. I don't recommend a liquid diet unless you're going for surgery because I don't care. Whatever you do so drastic and lose that much weight that quickly, you're going to gain back once you eat the regular food. That, we all know that's true. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm starting my liquid diet on August 13th for two weeks before my surgery. And then after that, I'm going to be on liquid, still liquid diet for two weeks after that. And then pureed food, then soft food, and then regular food. So I think I'm going to lose most of my weight then. But anyway, so this is my story time of how I did it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you want to press the bell notification, you guys know what to do. You'll be notified when I make videos. Okay, guys. So I hope um, I see you in my next video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.